Now you're excited by the possibilities of nanotechnology, of nanobots, of being able to do things inside our body, inside our mind that's going to help. What's exciting, what's terrifying about nanobots? What's exciting is that that's a way to communicate with our neocortex because it's each neocortex is pretty small and you need a small entity that can actually get in there and establish a communication channel. And that's gonna really be necessary to connect our brains to AI within ourselves because otherwise it would be hard for us to compete with it. In a high bandwidth way. Yeah, yeah. And that's key actually because a lot of the things like Neuralink are, are really not high bandwidth yet. So nanobots is the way you achieve high bandwidth. How much intelligence would those nanobots have? Yeah, they don't need a lot, uh, just enough to basically establish a communication channel to one nanobot, so. So it's primarily about communication. Yeah. Between external computing devices and our biological thinking machine. What worries you about nanobots? Is it similar to the, with the viruses? Well, I mean, there's the great goo ch challenge. Yes. Um, if you had uh, a nanobot that uh, wanted to create any, any kind of entity and repeat itself and was able to operate in a natural environment, it could turn everything into that entity and basically destroy all uh, uh, biological life. 